Purdue University is an international leader in innovation and technology transfer. Purdue professor Torbert Rochford has spent the last 20 years developing more nutritious varieties of orange-colored corn as part of a global biofortification effort to alleviate micronutrient deficiencies. Now he has co-founded the company Nutramaze with his son to bring the benefits of his unique non-GMO corn variety to the American public. The dark orange color of orange corn comes from high levels of carotenoids, which are natural antioxidant pigments found throughout nature and that give the yellow or orange color or red color to various fruits and vegetables such as tomatoes or carrots. Certain carotenoids, called carotenes, are also the primary dietary source of vitamin A, an essential micronutrient. In Africa, in certain countries, certain villages, they only eat white corn, which essentially has no carotenoids, and they may have a white corn-based dish three meals a day, most days of their lives, uh, and they can develop vitamin A deficiencies. Um, orange corn, it uh, looks different than white corn, and it has higher levels of the pro-vitamin A carotenoids, which may help to alleviate vitamin A deficiencies. Currently, biofortified crops, including orange corn, are being deployed throughout the developing world to deliver more micronutrients through foods people are already eating. Although Americans typically aren't at risk for severe micronutrient deficiencies, orange corn could still provide a nutritious boost to the average American diet. When we selected for darker orange color in Africa, uh, we also increased the levels of lutein and zeaxanthin. We don't have vitamin A deficiency in the U.S., but we have deficiencies in lutein and zeaxanthin, which accumulate in our eye and our brain. And lower levels of lutein and zeaxanthin are associated with a greater likelihood of macular degeneration. Um, and now there's preliminary findings that levels of lutein and zeaxanthin may be associated with cognitive function. The American Optometric Association says that eating enough lutein and zeaxanthin significantly reduces the risk of developing age-related macular degeneration. Unfortunately, most Americans only consume a small fraction of the levels recommended. We're really using the same concept behind biofortification in Africa, which is that the most efficient and effective way to get people to improve their diet is to improve the foods that they're already eating. What's really exciting about orange corn is that it's not only more nutritious, but uh, in the process of, of developing it, Torbert also made it better tasting. And so it has a unique flavor that's kind of nutty, buttery. When you cook it, it has a sort of a, a creaminess to it that you, that you typically don't find in other corn varieties. And so, um, you know, the benefits to consumer are twofold. It's that it, 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 it's not only better for you, but it also tastes better. Sort of our initial product that we're bringing to market is a line of milled products like grits and polenta. And we're currently selling those into food service and working with innovative chefs to really feature the unique attributes of our corn, including its, its, its flavor and its color, and, and start building the story of, of how this can be a culinary trend and really make a big long-term impact on the foods that we eat every single day. To find more information about this and other Purdue technologies, visit prf.org OTC.